I'm gonna show you how to make all of the variations that I came up with. And feel free to make your own variations too. So all of the variations start out the same folding sequence. So let's do that first, and then I'll show you the variations. So with the colored side up, we're gonna fold in half in both directions. And unfold. Then turn the paper over and fold both diagonals. And unfold. Now what we're gonna do is bring all four corners to the center. Now what we're gonna do is make rabbit ear folds on all four of these flaps. So start by folding this edge to here, but only fold until you reach this crease. And then repeat on this side. Unfold. And now we're gonna fold all three of these creases at once. Which will look like this. And then we can just leave that and repeat on these three flaps. Now what we're gonna do is turn the paper over and we're gonna fold um, a square base, making two valley folds here and a mountain fold here, like this. Now we're going to make sort of a uh, bird base. So we're gonna make the fold along here you could pre-crease that if you like, by folding this edge to this middle fold. And then same on here. Then unfold, open it up, fold along the pre-creases. Like this and then make that extra fold in there. And you can fold these flaps down now. And it should all lie flat. We're gonna repeat the same thing on this side. Now what we're gonna do is fold one layer to the left, and then fold this edge to here, making sure that the uh, two flaps are facing down. Fold this layer back. Now what we're gonna do is fold this edge to here. Unfold. Then we're going to lift this up and open the layers and we're going to do an open sink along the pre-pieces we just made. So make them all mountain folds and then make the three valley folds. And collapse. Now we're gonna repeat this here, here, and here. Alright, so now we can start making the variations. So first, you can decide if you want your dragon to be in a pose where he's on two feet, or like this, on four feet. And then, depending on that, you decide 
how you should reverse fold these head and tail flaps. In this example, I'm gonna make it look like this. So I'll fold it about there, but I can always adjust it later. And this one, I'll fold up. Like that. Now we can make the wings. I'm gonna show you how to make this wing first. So for that, what we're gonna do is make a fold connecting these two points. Make that a valley fold or a mountain fold. A mountain fold. Then we're going to fold this edge to that crease we just made on this side so that it looks like this. Then what we're gonna do is fold this edge to this fold. Then fold this edge to here. Then we fold along that mountain fold we just made. And then we're just gonna make one more valley fold like this along these edges you can use as a reference. Then you can unfold it. You can make a little curved crease there like I did here. Like that. And then if you want, what you can do is either leave this point or pull the wings till it becomes a square. Make folds around that square and kind of sink it. And you might have to make little extra folds so that it goes around the head and tail. Like that. Now what I'm gonna do is make this wing. So for that, what you're gonna do is make a crease from here to around there. Make a fold, a valley fold. Like that, something like that. And then we're gonna connect this point to this point with another valley fold. Like that, and this crease should also be made. Then we're gonna fold from here to here Fold the flap up. And then we're gonna make one more pleat in between here. And that's easy. Fold like this. And make sure that it looks good from the back, too. And now, what we can do... ...is the shaping. So make some round folds, round pieces if you like. And then you can do that on the other side. Alright, now 
Um, for this one, I'm gonna make it be more in a standing on two feet position. So what I'm gonna do is fold this back and then fold it like this, just to make a little foot. I can adjust this later. And then I'm gonna thin this flap a little bit. Like this. And then fold it. Fold like this, then I'll fold the flap up here, and then down again to make a little hand. And it will look like that. Then what I'm going to do here is pull this, pull up here to make a, like, a squash fold. and fold it in. Then we can shape the wings up again. And the head is very simple, just two reverse folds, like the standard easy dragon head. One and two. I haven't really came up with any variations for the head, but feel free to make your own. And if you folded this, you can post a picture and show it to me in whatever way you want. You can tag me. And hope you enjoyed folding this. And I'll see you guys later.